In this video, we will look at how Students for Justice in Palestine, or SJP, uses social media to glorify terrorism against Israeli civilians. As of the making of this video, all content presented here is publicly available on SJP's Facebook and Twitter pages. The Intifada. The Intifada is a term used to describe two violent Palestinian uprisings against Israel, the first in the late 80s and early 90s and the second in the early 2000s. While the first mostly consisted of attacks on Israeli soldiers, the second Intifada included suicide bombings against civilians on a massive scale, killing more than 1,000 Israelis at places like shopping malls, buses, synagogues, and cafes. In this post, SJP promotes a rally they call Globalize the Intifada, featuring a picture of Palestinians throwing rocks. More recently, they promoted an event called Revolutionary Theory and Intifada on campus. In 2016, they held an event entitled Intifada Cafe. Palestinian Terrorists SJP has used social media to commemorate a number of infamous Palestinian terrorists as well as terror groups. In this post, they commemorate the assassination of Ghassan Kanafini, who they call a freedom fighter. Ghassan Kanafini was a leading member of the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, or PFLP, which is recognized as a terrorist organization by Israel, the EU, the United States, and other countries. Kanafini was assassinated by Israel in response to the 1972 Lod Airport Massacre, which killed 26 people and injured more than 70 others. At the time, Kanafini was the official spokesperson for the PFLP. SJP shared a similar post in regard to Nubar Osanyan, another PFLP-affiliated terrorist. SJP described him as a martyr and as a freedom fighter, and the post even includes the PFLP logo. Another example is of Leila Khaled, a long-standing and current leader of the PFLP, who's infamous for her roles in the hijackings of two civilian airliners in 1969 and 1970. Here, SJP shares a drawing of her holding a gun, along with a quote calling her a freedom fighter. Here, they share a similar post, which includes a quote from Leila Khaled referring to Palestinian terror groups as legitimate resistance organizations. Perhaps the terrorist that SJP praises the most is Razmia Odeh, a PFLP member who was convicted for her role in two bombings in Jerusalem, one of which killed two civilians. In 2014 and 2017, as Odeh was fighting a court case involved alleged immigration fraud, SJP made a series of posts in support of her. SJP has also showed support for Palestinian prisoners convicted of terrorism, such as this event SJP held with Aman Nafa, wife of Nael Bergudi, a Palestinian convicted of murdering a bus driver. SJP also participated in the so-called Saltwater Challenge, which expressed support for Palestinian prisoners on hunger strike. The hunger strike was coordinated by infamous terrorist leader Marwan Bargudi, who was convicted of on five counts of murder. The student at the front of the video is wearing a t-shirt with a picture of Leila Khaled holding a gun. The t-shirt reads, resistance is not terrorism implying that what the rest of the world considers as Palestinian terrorism, he considers as heroic resistance. SJP's Facebook cover photo features a picture of a wall they displayed on the quad. The wall features a drawing of two prisoners holding hands, one from Palestine in 2017 and another from Ireland in 1981. The Palestinian hand refers to hunger strikers in 2017, most of whom belong to the terror group Palestinian Islamic Jihad. The Irish hand refers to the Provisional IRA, which is responsible for bombings in Northern Ireland. SJP also showed admiration for the entire terrorist group of Hezbollah when they shared this post, which celebrates the so-called resistance forces which drove Israel out of southern Lebanon in 2000. The group that drove Israel out was Hezbollah, an internationally recognized terrorist organization which fired more than 4,000 rockets at Israel in, 20, in 2006. Examples of all of this can be seen in a presentation given by an RA in 2019, which SJP took credit for. The presentation again shows terrorist leader Leila Khaled and an image showing Palestinian solidarity with IRA and Palestinian Islamic Jihad prisoners. The presentation also features a slide which describes Palestinian martyrdom as sacrificing of the heroes and describes martyrs as warriors. The picture on the slide even includes a green Hamas flag 
All of this puts into context statements SJP has made that seem to support violence. Statements such as this post, in which they respond to accusations of inciting violence. They write that, quote, violent resistance, whether black bloc or full-scale armed conflict, has its place, and that the struggle for liberation must exist on multiple levels and scales. They end the post by saying, we will fight and we will win by any means necessary.